Hello friends, I have come up with a video series on DynamoDB. In this, there will be many videos on DynamoDB over next few weeks. Have you ever come across the scenario when client asks you that you have to scale up on DynamoDB or there is another scenario when you are working on MongoDB and suddenly the client asks that you have to start looking at alternatives of MongoDB or because the client is using AWS technology stack and he is adamant to go with AWS DynamoDB only. So in that case you might be feeling that yes how and what should I learn in DynamoDB whether I can have DynamoDB installed on my local system or not. All these questions along with other questions I am going to cover up in this video series where I will show you how to install DynamoDB on your local machine, local laptop or desktop. Then how can you create data model in DynamoDB without logging into AWS DynamoDB itself. Right? All those things I am going to cover along with that the concepts of DynamoDB like what is AWS DynamoDB key terms like what is partition key, what is sort key, what is read capacity unit, what is write capacity unit, how DynamoDB internally stores data in it, right? All those things I am going to cover in this video series. So all these which you are able to see on screen is the agenda of this video series. Over the next few weeks, I will be sharing all these video series one by one with you. So I hope the way you have given your feedback and appreciated my MongoDB video series, you will share your feedback positive or negative for this video series as, as well. And in case you want me to cover any specific topic which I could have missed in AWS DynamoDB, then also please don't hesitate to share that topic list with me. I can also assist you with data modeling in DynamoDB as well. So DynamoDB recommends a single table design to maintain all the relations within a single table itself. To start with what is DynamoDB? It is a schema less, no SQL. It provides a lot of flexibility. We can add any field at any point in time. There is no requirement that two records should have all the fields available in both the records except partition key that is primary key must be present in both the records which will uniquely identify both these records that is what is meaning of schema less there is no requirement to design schema of DynamoDB upfront and moreover I would also encourage that know your access patterns beforehand like what is your application requirement what could be the possible queries on DynamoDB database tables which you are going to fire to AWS DynamoDB that is the only prerequisite which you must know or which you should spend significant time on no flexible schema only define primary key fully managed no sql database now what is fully managed please make a note of this keyword that it is fully managed you don't have to manage any server here it is all serverless okay no sql database there is no join supported at the database layer so all those things in case there is a requirement will have to be handled by any kind of logic in the application level only but there is no join supported there is no such operation called join in DynamoDB no operational requirements to manage server at the same time it offers encryption at rest also serve any level of traffic efficiently no need to worry it scales up or scales down efficiently and without any downtime right that is the flexibility 
which it provides elasticity scalability right all these things are provided by dynamo db high availability and durability it distributes the data and traffic automatically so we will discuss it in the coming videos that how dynamo db distributes data and how it scales up so quickly that i am going to show in the coming slides data stored on solid state disks which is faster than the normal disks and data replicated across multiple availability zones in case there is any failure in case you want to know the differences between mongodb and dynamo db then there is another video which i have recorded just for differentiating between dynamo db and mongo db please feel free to watch that video also which will give you insight on the difference between dynamo db and mongo db also moving on tables items and attributes how are these represented in dynamo db that is what i am going to show you in this slide tables right it is like other databases in dynamo db also a table is called table it is collection of data items here we are not saying records or tabular representation it is collection of data item individual record is called as item it can represent any entity or group of entities for example university school student employee customer and so on now what is item item is like rows or records in the rdbms system or database you can say that it is a record for a table or entity stored as key value pair of attributes it is a key value pair database and one or many items are stored in a table like record of a school record of a university right and so on and attributes attribute is the lowest level of data element in dynamo db tables or items basically items are comprised of attributes it is represented as key value pair one or many attributes constitute an item like name is one attribute age is another attribute and all of these attributes combined can represent an entity called student customer anything right 